What up, YouTube? Doug here, TWT Bulls. All right, so my cousin Mike is down from Asheville. Hey guys. Picking up his girl, Bugaboo, Winston's littermate sister. So she's going to be going up to Asheville. Here's Bugaboo on the left and Winston on the right. Eight week old French Bulldog puppies off of Gaston, our own little Gastonian. So she's going to have an amazing life up in Asheville and uh, be part of the TWT Bulls program, man. I'm crazy excited about it uh, look how tiny they are aren't they cool in person they're awesome they're awesome and then of course we have little uh, little poblano out here chilling with the puffs this thick little dude what'd you think of poblano when you saw him man he's a little tank he's, he's different man he's, he's, he, no doubt. he's definitely different that's one way yeah. to describe him he, he is, is different special for he's sure, all I mean. the way different but uh Mike's, Mike's big into the Frenchies, the flat faces, the short legs, the short backs. He's, he's got some crazy females up in Asheville that uh, I know he's going to produce some crazy Frenchie pups. And the great thing about Mike is the attention to detail with the nutrition and the training and the just really incorporating, you know, having just that overall happy, healthy dog. I can't wait to see how you treat the litters when you have them, you know? Yeah, well, they make for much better friends. They communicate so well. I mean, yeah it's great like uh you know i was telling you about lulu you guys remember her her ability and capacity to just pay attention to you recognize words identify what those things mean she knows what all the different toys are winston relieving himself very nice <laughs> yeah there you go winston <laughs> but it's great yeah well with the first year of a puppy's life the more time you yeah. put in it really shows as they age yeah. and frenchy pups i've been through it between like four months and eight months they could go through, they could put you through some trying times. You know what I mean? Yeah, like my first month with Lulu, uh -huh. I bottomed out. Really bad <laughs> they can make you, I mean, they can cry in the crate to where it's like, oh my word, are they ever going to stop? They can uh, start peeing and pooping in the house. You think you got them trained and then they take a step backward. But it's really consistency. Yeah, they love a schedule. They a do. schedule, spending time with them and it pays off you got to stick yeah. with it and uh by the time they're like i mean diego was an absolute wild man um, devil dog. wild man and now he's one of the calmest dogs we have he's so yeah. chill and in the routine so it's like if little dirty d came around any frenchie can <laughs> but uh the puppy stage man it will it will try your patience when you really spend the time with them and do it right yeah. if you don't go through periods of feeling frustrated and feeling like they're not learning then you're probably just not spending enough time with them, you know? But when you do spend the time with them, it definitely pays off in the end, you know? And once they're a year old, they, like you said, they understand what you're saying, that you can trust them, they're good in their routines. Yeah. But uh, I know this little bugaboo. Man, look at her little build, I love it. That's a true, compact, tiny little girl right there. And I love the uh, blue with the rust tan points. Man, she is awesome, look at that little girl. Our own little female Gastonian. I love having the brother and the sister so we can watch them grow up together too. Oh, you know? can't wait. It's real cool. It's real cool. Yeah, very And, uh, man, one thing I found with these Frenchies is they love other Frenchies. Yes. They love playing kind of in packs and They're moving like that. Yeah, they really are. They love moving like that. They say great things are like that. Too. Yeah, it's interesting. And you, they play good together. They really do. Yeah, Look at that girl's like face. Other. They feed off each other. Yeah, That's they do. Lulu training Enzo was really easy because he would just start to do whatever she did. Yeah, yeah. So Mike trained Enzo. Hoping. He learned fast. Yep. Lulu will be able to train her yep. quickly as well. It's nice to let him have another puppy or dog, young dog, to play with and get their energy out with when they come outside. Oh, yeah. And uh, when they see that dog peeing and pooping outside, they're more likely to. Oh, 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 and uh, oh, they learn. Oh, <laughs> Look at little Winston. Oh, hey, come on, Winston. Come get some. Look at these, man, they're so, so cute. Yeah, these guys are special. They're great. Yeah, yeah, they're awesome. Great additions. Great additions to the program. Yeah, little Gastonians. I that love little it. guy. I love it, man. He's a special stud. He uh, really he's is. He's one of the best of all time. All the features I like, he has in a magnified way. Indeed. You know? And uh, his productions are really looking good. I love the blue with the tan points, too. I love it. <laughs> Look at them crawling under you. Yeah, little bullies. Little little bulls right there. That's how you know. <laughs> Man, she is she is extra tiny. Yeah, she 
She is little. There's no doubt about it. We're trying to remember Mike's uh, little Brindle girl, Lulu Bell, how small she was at eight weeks old. And it's so hard, you know, it's so hard to think back and compare, but it's close. It's real close. Yeah, they're both very little. And uh, Lulu Bell's full Mike. grown now. What is she, 15 pounds? Yeah, she's about 15 pounds. I mean, maybe about yay big, yay long, and she's just thick. Nice round front shoulders. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's one of the things, too, with the Frenchies. A lot of the, like, 15, 16-pound Frenchies I see have no substance and have these long, skinny legs. No. Yeah, we like the short, thick legs and yeah. the thick little bodies, little you know. Tanks. And that comes from the parents. It comes from the grandparents. It comes from the, the bloodlines you get. And uh, these pups, the mom, Belle, uh, her dad and her grandfather at Sal at ATL Bulldogs and Frenchies. I mean, they're just awesome. Just real thick little tanks. So yeah, I, I love, I love the pedigree behind the mom side. And then you guys know I love the dad side. So it's real cool. Little uh, bugaboo going to going to Asheville today. We're gonna be sad to see her go, but we'll have updates for you guys. I'm gonna make a trip sometime this fall up to Asheville to show off the little stud Nod. And the female Lulu now that she's full grown, and then we'll yeah, show a so bugaboo update. Trixie, Nod, Lulu, Peony Rose, <coughs> and Monty. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Five. That is awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, these two, the buds. I know. Look at them. They're gonna they're gonna really miss each other, little buddies. But yeah, we'll we'll keep you updated with what we have going on up in Asheville. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you for making the drive down. Yeah. Love you guys. He's nice. Oh, and he's short. All right, yeah. guys. Here we are with a legend breeding. Hold my own bullies, correct? That's it. Hold my own bullies. And I'm telling you guys, this girl they have, her and legend is going to produce some real fire. I could tell because she's got a ton of bone, a ton of muscle, real exotic look. And uh, knowing the consistency legend's been producing and the quality, I can't wait to see what these two produce. But here's legend using his built in. Progesterone machine inside his nose, smelling where she used the bathroom. <laughs> Hello, little Poblano. He's learning the ropes early. He's checking her out. He thought maybe we called his number up, but he's not ready yet. You're not ready yet, little dude. <laughs> so what is what is your girl's name? Maggie. Maggie. So legend times Maggie. Here he goes. He's back on it. <laughs> legend and Maggie. So hold my own bullies. He's only like an hour from me, so I'm going to... When the puppies are born, we'll show them off. And when the puppies are like seven, eight weeks old, he'll come back out, we'll show them off. But I really think this is gonna be some real thick, real clean, real special bulls right here. I was just telling him that uh, the way Legend's been producing and the features I see on his female, oh boy, get ready, get ready. Be ready for some massive thick pups, that's all I can say. Can't keep up with these. Right. They're all over. I haven't seen Poblano move that fast in a minute. Look, <laughs> Legend. play games with yeah, Legend's like, hey, drooling. Gonna do Look, he's going to chase her down the hill. It's like I a little know. mini freight train coming at you. What's up, little man? Oh, my Lord, boy. Yeah, he's coming up on five months old, so he won't be too long out before this little dude is ready. Oh, thanks. You like him? Oh, yeah. Look at her exercising Legend. I love it. She's going to make him work for it. <laughs> She's got to make them work for it. Woo, they're going to be thick. They're going to be thick. I can't wait. I can't wait to see how thick they are. And clean, too. That's what I like about Legend, you know? Yeah. The bite, the tail, the feet, the angles. Not only short and massive, but very clean structure, very healthy. No, she won't stay still. Look at him. He's after it. So we'll keep you we'll guys. We'll, uh... Stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on this breeding and how it goes. And when the pups come, we'll let you guys know.